Now, a new international prosecution office to hold Moscow accountable for war crime for the war crime of aggression has opened in The Hague. According to Ukrainian authorities, the center will send a signal that the world is united in holding Russia accountable for its crimes. For more on this story, we can bring in our international affairs commentator, Douglas Herbert. Doug, good afternoon to you. What is the center meant to do exactly? Exactly what you just said. It's meant to find a way uh, before international justice to hold Russia. And we're talking about Russia here. We're not talking about Ukraine. Let's be clear. No false equivalents. This is, a, this is a center that is supposed to be able to find a way to hold Russia accountable for what is the original sin from Ukraine and much of the international community's point of view, the invasion of Ukraine last February 2022, and the, the ensuing uh, violation of its territorial integrity, of its sovereignty, essentially. Until now, there's been a lot of kinks in the armor of international justice, if you will. What that means, put more simply, is that there's been no way to hold Russia accountable for specifically the crime of aggression. Now, you might say, so why is that? How is that possible? Isn't there an international criminal court? Haven't there been tribunals in the past? Yes, there have. The problem is, A, this is not a tribunal. This is not a court. What this is is exactly the term you used. It is a center to help those already building cases, to help them, and, and both ongoing and future potential cases, to help them collect and secure evidence and to help eventually to bring them to trial. But it's not a court of prosecution. What it is seen potentially as, and remember, this is um, going to sort of uh, be an A, an A team, if you will, of prosecutors from countries such as Ukraine, such as Lithuania and Poland, um, which also were at the uh, initiative of, of, of this center, as well as the United States, as well as a lot of European allies, mm. to bring their prosecutorial forces together to try to get to that point at which it will be possible to hold Russia accountable. The ICC, notably, can prosecute for things like war crimes, crimes against humanity, genocide. Technically, it can also prosecute for crimes of aggression. The problem is it can't go after Russia in this case. It is not basically authorized to do so. Why? Because neither Russia nor, I'll point out, Ukraine are parties. They have not ratified the mm. ICC's treaty. So that's where the, the hitch is. That's why this center is com comes into play. It's going to work alongside Delano, alongside the ICC, but it's not a court. It is simply what the Ukrainians hope and a lot of the international community hope will be a meaningful step towards eventually having tribunal to hold Russia, Russia's senior leadership responsible. Douglas, I'm going to ask you to dumb it down for myself and yeah. our viewers. What is a crime of aggression? Yeah, it, you know what? It's, it's funny because when it was originally uh, put in the UN Charter, it wasn't specifically defined. They spoke vaguely, ambiguously, of a crime of aggression, and we're supposed to sort of, you know, it's no a no-brainer, aggression, yeah. right? Um, it does have a definition, though, and there it is on the screen. Um, and this is a definition that was recently added as an amendment under what's called the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, planning preparation, initiation, or execution, very legalistic language, but they wanted to get it all in there, by a person in a position effectively to exercise control over or to direct the political or military action of a state of an act of aggression which, by its character, gravity, scale, it constitutes a manifest violation of the Charter of the United Nations. That is a mouthful, mm. I know, Delano, but it boils down to one thing. Like I said, this crime of aggression center is right now specifically looking at evidence and cases targeting Russia, Russia's senior leaders. We know Vladimir Putin has already been indicted and, and, and accused of war crimes by the International Criminal Court for uh, allegedly he's accused of helping playing a role in the abduction of children from Ukraine to Russia. That's not the crime of aggression that this is about. So this is specifically going to, under that definition, try to target Vladimir Putin and his, I'll use the word cronies, you can't, his senior leadership around him, those who have been complicit in what much of the international uh, community sees as a design, deliberate attempt to usurp Ukraine's sovereignty via invasion. And very briefly, Doug, what has Russia said about all of this? So far, there's no official response, but you, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to perhaps anticipate it's going to be nothing good. Mm. Like I said, Russia is not a party. They've never ratified the ICC. Look, I might point out neither has the United States, right? Neither is Ukraine, as I said earlier. Um, in Russia's case, it sees this entire international justice system as bogus, as rigged against it, as unjust, as bent on humiliating Russia and singling out Russia. Um, the, the, the fact of the matter is um, you saw that the definition of aggression is under the Charter of the United Nations. 
Russia can't deny that it is a member and party of the United Nations. What's mm. going to make this very difficult going ahead is Russia do not expect them to cooperate in any way with this new center uh, because they haven't shown any signs of cooperating with the International Criminal Court of which it is a part of which it is now – with which it is now collaborating. So uh, watch this space. But I don't expect Putin to say, oh, sounds like a good idea. We, we'll see how this pans out. Thank you very much for that, Doug, uh, Douglas Harper.